still confused between stress bearing and relief areas for a mandibular denture? Let's fix that in under 90 seconds. Stress bearing areas are low tolerant zones that help distribute occlusal forces to avoid localized trauma. Relief areas are delicate tissues that can ulcerate under pressure and should be relieved. In the mandible, your primary stress bearing area is the buccal shelf area and the secondary one is the residual ridge slopes. Relief areas include the crest of residual ridge, mental foramen, myeloid ridge, genial tubercles, and torus mandibularis. Histologically, stress bearing zones have thick keratinized mucosa, dense cortical bone, and good blood supply. Relief areas often have thin mucosa, sharp or cancellous bone, and nearby nerves or muscle insertions. During impression making, stress bearing areas are recorded under functional pressure using the selective pressure technique. Relief areas are recorded with minimal or no pressure and wax relief is added in the custom tray. Your denture should fit closely over the stress bearing areas for optimal support and stability. But over relief areas, the denture should be relieved to avoid trauma, discomfort or even denture dislodgement. Why does this matter long term? Because good load distribution over stress bearing areas helps to preserve the residual ridge. While constant pressure over relief areas can cause soft tissue injury, bone loss, and reduce retention. Hope that helps. Want to learn about mandibular anatomical landmarks in detail? Click the link below and subscribe to Dentistify if you are serious about prosthodontics.